In today's video, I'm going to flash Task Mota on a Sonoff Mini with firmware version 3.5.0. Since the update, the process to flash Task Mota on these devices has changed. If you, like me, have made the update to 3.5.0 without thinking of the consequences, but then decided to flash Task Mota, you need to follow this tutorial. The old tutorials you find on YouTube and on the forums no longer work. It took me a good few hours of reading various forums and watching videos and trying different things until I managed to successfully flash Tasmota on a Sonoff Mini with the new version 3.5.0. The information found on forums is sometimes incomplete, sometimes inaccurate, which makes it even more difficult to flash Son of Mini with uh, Tasmota. Once you will see the entire process, you should find it easy to do it. So what are the differences? First, with the previous version 3.3.0, you had to open the box uh, and put a jumper between the jumper pins in order to put it to put the device in uh, DIY mode. Now, this is no longer required. To put the Son of Mini in DIY mode, you need to follow the following steps. Uh, one of the prerequisites to this will be to download and install um, the Advanced REST client, in short, ARC, ARC, on your computer. Uh, I will post the link in the description. So first, um, on your mobile phones, uh, create a new hotspot. Name it Sonoff DIY with a capital D and set the password to 2017-0618-SN and start the hotspot. Then reset the Sonoff Mini by holding the reset button for 5 seconds, then release. The blue LED will flash three times, then pause, then flash again three times, then pause, and so on. Press the reset button a further five seconds, then release. It will now flash continuously. Now check the available Wi-Fi networks on your phone or laptop. You should be able to see a new one called ITED, I-T-E-A-D, and uh, the device ID, some numbers. Connect to this Wi-Fi hotspot on your computer. Point your browser to the IP 10.10.7.1. This is the DIY mode page. Click Next to set up the Wi-Fi network and password. For Wi-Fi network, use the name Sonoff DIY with a capital D and for the password use the same one that you used when creating the hotspot on your mobile phone 2017-0618-SN and click Save. Once the Sonoff Mini restarts, it'll, it will connect to the Sonoff DIY hotspot. You will be able to see it in the list of connected devices. Connect your laptop to this hotspot as well. Look up the IP address given to the Sonoff Mini. You will need it in the next step. Open up ARC on your computer. Click on the plus sign to add a new request editor. Change the method from get to post. In the request URL put http colon slash slash the IP address of the Sonoff Mini from the Sonoff DIY hotspot, then colon port 8081 slash zero conf slash info. You will see this in the video description as well. In the request parameters, choose body. In body content type, choose application slash JSON and paste the first lines of code underneath. You will find these lines of code in the video description as well. Press the send button in the upper right corner. 
if all went okay you should see a 200 okay message and the info from the Sonoff Mini. The most important the SSID which is Sonoff DIY, OTA unlock which is at this moment false, the firmware version which is 3.5.0 and a few other bits of information. The next step is to change the OTA unlock from false to true. We are going to change the request URL from info to OTA underscore unlock, then press the send button in the top right corner. We should again get a 200 OK message back. If that happens, go back to slash info and check that the OTA unlock is now set to true. If this is the case, you can proceed to the next step. Download the Tasmota Lite.bin from the Tasmota repository. There's a, again, there's a link in the description. You have to first flash the Lite version, then you can update to a full version after flashing this one. In order to be able to flash the device, you will need to put the Tasmota Lite.bin file on a web server. I used um, the web station on my Synology NAS, but you can download XAMPP, which is free and open source and contains the Apache server. There are plenty of tutorials on online uh, how to set this up. It's very simple. Once you have that sorted, you are ready to flash the Sonoff Mini. In request URL, change the last part of the URL so that it looks like this. HTTP HTTP um, colon slash slash IP address colon 8081 which is the port slash zero conf slash OTA underscore flash. You will need to obtain the SHA256 sum of the uh, bin file that you are going to flash. For those who don't know how to do it, I placed a link in the video description that shows how to get it. It's very simple and I don't want to make this video too long. Once you have it, fill in the JSON code, also in the video description. Change the download URL to the IP address of the web server and the location of the bin file. Change the SHA-256 sum to the one that pertains to your bin file. Press the send button in the top right corner. You should again get a 200 OK. Wait about a minute and then check the list of Wi-Fi networks that you can see. You should now see a new hotspot called Tasmota underscore and some numbers, which is the, the device ID. If you see it, then the flashing process was successful. Connect to this new hotspot. Your browser should open up uh, the web interface automatically. If it doesn't, you need to point your browser to 192.168.4.1 while being connected to this new hotspot. Set up your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Change the host name if you want and then press save. In order to find the new IP address of the Sonoff Mini, you will need to check your router configuration or use a software such as Fing that will um, show all the devices that are connected to your router. Once you found it, connect to it. One very important thing to keep in mind when you configure the module, you can select the module type as Sonoff Basic, number one in Tasmota but uh, in order to be able to have the physical switch turn the light on and off you will need to choose GPIO4 uh, 
um, to set it to switch one, number nine, and save. If you don't do that, uh, your physical switch will not be working, so you will only be able to switch the light from um, the software from Tasmota. Set the MQTT server IP, username and password, and you should be good to go. You can use the set option 19. One, at the console, in order to make Home Assistant auto discover it, or if it doesn't work, like it didn't work for me, um, you will have to manually configure the device. Um, I configured it as a light, so in the light.yaml file, I configured the code. That will be the last step. Once you've done that, you should have a fully working light in uh, uh, Home Assistant, a fully working um, Sonoff Mini uh, flashed with Tasmota. Thank you for watching. I hope that has been useful to you. And until next time, take care.